Hello, everyone. Welcome to our LAM CAA assessment. We are now on module four, week three, and we are testing ourselves with our mastery of the channels. So for tonight, we're going to master or study further and show you. As usual, I'm going to call on the first one who arrived. Hello, Mom Angel. Good evening. Can you take care of one to ten? Good evening, po, Doc. Ay, ay, sige po. Yeah, good evening. So, start na po ba, Doc? Seven. Start na tayo. Uh, po. Bali, number one po, uh, pericardium three. Ano po siya? Um, pericardium three is... Letter C po, yung regulates the intestine, acute gastroenteritis, heat exhaustion, rheumatic heart disease, and vomiting po. Okay. Um, Healthy okay. point po siya daw. So, paano natin ito matatandaan? Uh, yeah, healthy point. Yeah, okay. Very good. So, healthy point. So we should know ano yung function ng C point. So the answer is letter C. For pericardium 3, uh, regulate niya yung intestines. So you might be wondering bakit anong kinalaman ni intestines kay pericardium. So paano po nangyari yon, Ma'am Angel? Uh, kasi po si pericardium 3 po, siya po yung... Uh, Ano po, ano tawag dyan? Regulate the intestine. Kasi, uh, ano ba ito explain? Okay. Um, sino bang kapartner ni ano? Uh, si na... ano daw. Si kapartner po ni pericardium uh, is si liver. Hmm. Um... Sa ano? Yung uh, interior? Ah, sa oh. uh, pericardium is ano po? Triple burner, right? Apo, sanjaw po. Okay. Ano, ano po yung components ng ating fire element? Alam mo ba nung araw, uh, they refer to the pericardium as the heart actually. So it was mm. lately na they came up with pericardium. Kaya pag titingnan mo yung mga classics, they will not um, even mention the back shoot for the pericardium. But they will mention the, peri the back shoot of the heart. So, parang sumabi pa rin natin. Of course, pericardium is um, the sheath. Right? It covers the heart. So, parang sumabi mo na rin, you're actually referring to the heart here. So, sino ka partner po ni Hart? Yes, small intestine po. Okay. Though. So, yun po yung interior, exterior organs. No? So, heart and small intestine. So, it also goes like saying that um, the pericardium can actually affect the intestines because it's... Um, parang ano, um, the, the heart kasi po is the emperor. So, as much as possible, we do not let the emperor, uh, we protect the emperor. So the one that does the job is the pericardium. Okay? So you were right. Pericardium 3 is the HUSI point. Ano po yung pinaka-characteristic natin ng HUSI point? Um, Doc, yung, yung counter drain ng heat. Um, actually, ito yung responsible for counterflow uh, chi, no? Ang ibig sabihin, uh, so when you talk about vomiting, vomiting is actually parang bumabalik siya. So parang rebellious. Rebellious siya talaga. So, yeah. And at the same time, parang tinapon mo siya sa dagat. No? Kaya it's very good for heat exhaustion and also for acute uh, gastrointestinal infection or acute mm. gastroenteritis. And ano kinalaman ni rheumatic heart disease dito? Paano ba nagkakaroon ng RHD ang tao? Yung ano, Dok, parang... Paano ba nagkakaroon yung ano? 
actually nagsimula po yan infection started, yeah throat infection unresolved strep ano infection strep throat infection. infection so alam niyo naman uh, pag hindi mo na resolve yon lalo na pag mahina yung hindi tama yung antibiotic mo or mahina ka talaga dediretso po yan sa heart no the throat so throat heart so yung mga nagkaroon ng uh, throat infection na hindi masyadong na, na treat completely um you can you can have RHD rheumatic heart disease eventually when so you cannot get pregnant pwede isa lang pero if possible bawal sa maging pregnant okay so yun po yun. Thank you very much, Ma'am Angel. Would you like to continue? Um, Could I ask something? No? Oh, sure. Uh, related to the heart, uh, rheumatic heart disease, as you mentioned earlier, that it's been uh, caused in the throat. So it has a possibility that uh, it connects to the homo hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism. It yes, of course. Okay. Uh, if you remember, yung thyroid mm -hmm. is actually part of the triple burner. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, di ba, ang partner ni pericardium is triple burner. So, parang sinabi mo na rin, heart and small intestine. So, it goes like saying na um, affected talaga yung thyroid mo. Okay. I question that question because I am the same boat. And uh, I'm the victim of hypothyroidism and uh, rheumatic heart disease. That's why I raised the uh, that's why I raised the questions. So are you saying na pag mayroon kang RHD, you can also have the possible you know you are also prone to have hypothyroidism. Yes, that's a questions. Siguro if you're trying if you would like to recall your childhood, how how was your childhood like? Um, I remember ma yung lungs mo mahina eh, no? Yes po. Raksa, ano, like, uh, if you see this, uh, I'm sure you all are familiar with, uh, by the way, before I forget, no, sa 13, kung pwede lang naman kayo, I'd like you to attend the diagnostics class. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, give my technique of actually... Of course, I'll give you notes right away. We won't be doing a lot of lectures, but um, you will be divided into two groups. Um, okay. You will have to see all of you have. You will have to diagnose all the members of your group. That will be great, doc. Uh, that will be. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I am sure. Yes, and as a bonus, I'd like to. Alam mo naman tayo, mga advocates ng auricular medicine. I don't know if some of you have been very... Um, very interesting subject. <laughs> well, I, I love interesting topics. Yes. yes. One-point therapy, single-point therapy, using the ear. Of course, you oh. need to know, um, kasi nag-aaral naman kayo mag-aano. Um, we, we will see. No, I, I'm actually doing... Uh, uh, parang, I'm trying to compare sa sa bilis. So we'll try yung one point therapy for pain. Most of the patients who come to us are pain naman eh. No? Isn't that great? And uh, aaralin natin isa-isa kung paano siya i-coconnect sa ear. And uh, that's what I'm excited. And of course, we're going to teach you how to analyze the ear as well. And this is something that I, I, I'm so excited to share with you. No? So yeah. we'll be on uh, November 13 and I hope to see you. And I hope some of you will be joining the TAC Congress and hope to see you. Okay, so... Oh, thank I you po, thank you. Oh, wala na ibang questions, Sir Michael? Wala na po, wala na po. Okay, let's go to... Oh, sige, para hindi naman ma-stress si Ma'am Angel, maybe I can call somebody else to answer number two. Let's call on... Sir Michael. <laughs> 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 okay, so, I will book up my cam. <laughs> Imamatch like... mo ko. Sino okay. ito si Pericardium for? Okay. Uh, Press na pare lang tayo nag-aaral lahat dito, no? Opo, uh, opo. Uh, may answer to that number two is... 
Mm. Number two. Ay, ganito na lang. I want you to remember lahat, no? Kasi I'm, I think I'm, I promise to be good. <laughs> ganito na lang. I hope everybody noticed this. Ali, bakit ayaw ito mo lang? Ay, 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 ay. Yeah. Uh, review mo na natin to. Okay. okay. Ano ang... Um, okay. Yeah, meron tayong tonification point. Pericardium 9. And I believe that you know how to tonify already. No? And uh, sedation point is pericardium 7. So napakadali. Horary point is pericardium 8. So what is horary point? Horary point is, um, of course, when you say pericardium, it's a fire element, diba? So, the fire point of the fire element is its horary point. Okay? So, how do we determine by the points? Okay, diba sa pericardium? Pericardium is yin, right? Yin channel. So, we start with the wood, diba? So, the wood point would be the first one, pericardium 9. So, um, the second one would be the pericardium 8, the far point, di ba? Parang clock siya. Do you follow? Okay. Are you with me? Di ba yung ano, pag, pag, pag yin channel, nag-uumpisa sa wood. So, ang wood point is pericardium 9, di ba? Kaya tinatawag siyang tonification. Of course, gagatungan mo siya. Para magkaroon ng apoy. So it is actually the mother point. Sedation point is the child point. So sedation is you want to um, control the fire. Lalagyan mo ng madaming ano? Water. Okay. Sino ba yung, sino ba yung anak ni fire? Earth. 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 So who is the earth point? of the pericardium. So the earth point would be the third point from pericardium 9. You follow? Mm. So that's 8, 7. So the far point of the pericardium is the horary point. So pag sinabi mong horary point, like this is a far, po far element. So the far point of the far element, so para bang redundant siya, is pericardium 8. Okay? So pericardium 1 is an important angina point. Um, what do you mean by angina? Naka sumisikip yung dibdib mo. Um, uh, meron tayong tinatawag na reversible, irreversible. Pag sinabi mo, um, na, na, pag nawawala siya, pag ano, nag-arrest ka, hindi pa siya masyadong serious. But of course, sumasakit yung dibdib mo. You can use pericardium 1. Okay? So, I presume you all know where pericardium 1 is. And, yeah. In that in fact, this is the point na karamihan ng mga babae nagkakaroon ng mass sa breast. It's almost always the, the upper outer quadrant. Do you follow? So, this is probably related to uh, yung mga hindi mailalabas yung mga galit, yung mga ganon. See? So, or it can also happen to to men, no? So, um, you can use pericardium 1 as an important angina point. Now, pericardium 3 is good for intestinal problems, blood heat. Um, so this is a bit, uh, pag sinabi mong blood heat, mayroon kang makikitang red spot sa, sa tongue. No? Oh, so mga toxic heat ang tawag doon. And of course, when you have blood heat, uh, nagdetilirio na yung pasyente, septic na. So you need to already give antibiotics, right? So, if, if you can really see the connection, it's like, pinakamalalim talaga is pericardium 1, 2, 3. Parang, they follow. So, I believe you know where pericardium 3 is. But the main point for angina, chest pain, or palpitations is pericardium 4. 4. Okay. Pericardium 4. Palpitations. Oh, may naririnig ka ng heartbeat. Naririnig mo na yung heartbeat mo. Pericardium 6, I'm sure this is also a very popular point for all of us. 
um, I use this to open the chest. And at the same time, hindi sinasabi dito, maganda siya pang, pang, ano, pang pagalaw ng chi. Kaya I also use this for those with uh, uh, yung mga mayroong epigastric pain dahil sa nagkaroon ng liver chi stagnation. So that can also help. So basically, when you talk about pericardium 6, it uh, somehow improved the flow of chi. It facilitates the flow of chi. Kaya ino-open na yung chest, so maganda siya for heart disease. It calms the spirit, the main nausea point. No? Para kang nasusuka. Especially when you are having, uh, let's say, uh, buntiska, first trimester, hyperemesis gravidarum, this can actually help relieve the, the nausea. Then we have pericardium 8, which is the ano ang pericardium 8, horary point. So you think of fire all the time. So fire and fire. And fire. Okay. So mm -hmm. when you have uh, mga singaw-singaw, mouth problems, mm -hmm. and I'm sure some of you mm -hmm. have experienced this, right? And, and ang ginagawa lang, you, you just apply a tincture there. Um, and we did not know that all you have to do is do acupressure and pericardium 8, maybe needle. This is a bit masakit, but mm -hmm. there is a technique of uh, locating it um, easily. No, Make a fist and then kung saan nag-aano yung um, like pag, kung saan nag-end yung kuko mo, andun yung pericardium 8. And then pericardium 9 being the anong classing point ito, Sir Michael? This is called the... Uh, it's a jingwell point. Yeah, jingwell. This is the wood point. Wood so, point. Ganda siya for revival. No? So, very bad. In fact, we recommend that to people who have lost consciousness. Okay, so let's go to number two. Let's... Okay, I hope that helped. Sir Michael, can you do the honors? Uh, number four, uh, Doc. Uh, may answer for number four. Ah, number, number two. Ah, number two. Uh, my answer is number two. My, my answer is number number two is letter F. PC seven. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Is a calm the spirit, expand mm -hmm. the like pumps and angina chest pain. Of course, that patient's mastitis. Okay. Um, how can you explain its use in mastitis? Mm. Okay. This is something to do with the location of the channel, di ba? Saan ba nag-uumpisa ang pericardium channel? Uh, from the from the nipple, something. Near nipple. No, nipple. Hindi sa nipple lang. Hindi po, near. Very near. <laughs> uh... Ano bang side yan? Points sa nipple. Fourth intercostal space. Okay. Uh, Upper <laughs> outer quadrant. No? So, I don't know if uh, women can relate here. I find this relatable. Like, if you have um, heart issues, sumasakit yan dyan. So, the same thing. Uh, so, when you say mastitis, this is something to do um, yung local, yung location niya. No? So, we're talking about the channel here. So you pero um we would like uh to be to be more open minded. So pag na, napansin mo yung pericard pericardium kasi it's about relationship with other people. No? So kung nakakano ka ng issue diyan uh, this is something that you have to look into. Okay, so pericardium 4 is good for calming the spirit, no? For expanding the diaphragm, for opening up for angina, chest pain. So this is very, very good, uh, like symptomatic. Of course, when you have mastitis, the pericardium channel is actually affected, sp starting from the fourth intercostal. No? Okay, uh, let's continue with number three. Uh, Mom Darlene, the, uh, Darlene could you, would you like to take yes. care of me? Uh, number three. Pericardium five. Uh, very far, Jim. I went down there. 
คือไปพอดีชัวร์อันเซอร์ฟอร์เพอร์ริคาร์ดิมไฟมาดีก็สิบอันเซอร์ก็ดูโอเคคุณไม่ได้ก็ชัวร์อันดูมันสินะไม่ได้ก็ชัวร์เอ่อยุงอันนู้ปะยุงเดทเรสปะอืมสมบัตินะ do you have another option เอ่ออันเดอร์ออปชั่นโอเคนั่นยูอินอิสมอลังนี่ยูอัมเปริคาร์ดิวน้องอันอัลลัมลังนัตยาตานับเป็นคอมมิตินเปริคาร์ดิวสิกส์ด็อกเลเตอร์อันนู้ปะเลเตอร์เอโอเคว่ายอืมเพราะว่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่
I will not be considering using pericardium 7 to drain the heat. Do you get it? Pericardium 8 is the horary point. It's the far point of the far element. So uh, you sedate that point para mawala yung heat. So um, I wouldn't like you to be memorizing that. So like you just have to look for the, the pathognomonic sign here that will make you want to use the point, no? Okay, would you like to give it a try, Mom Lane, for number five? Remember, I'm seven is kahilera po ni heart seven. Although, practically lahat yata kinakalma yung spirit. Oh, oh. oh just ignore it. <laughs> what is your answer? Kung mali po ang okay, uh, Ma'am Lane. Now, yes, sir. E po. For now, for pericardium yes. seven. Um, I think letter letter E po doc. Tama po ba? Okay, ganito Ma'am Lane. Um, di ba kang inapinakita natin yung pericardium nine, pericardium seven and pericardium 8, right? Pericardium 9 is a tonifying, tonification point. So, um, you would like to revive a patient pag nawala ng malay. So, if you're going to answer uh, for your um, PC7, medyo mali na po yun. Diba? So, I would be more inclined to answer coma, diba? Wakes up the patient. Can you get it? So, pericardium 9 should be letter E. Shock, diba? Shock na parang nawala ka, no, you know, wala ka sa sarili mo. And also, when you have high fever, right? Um, hypertension or na stroke ka na. Can, can you follow? So definitely, you will not think of uh, of pericardium 7 for that. Kasi nasa, nasa baluarte po yan ni pericardium 9. Okay? So pericardium 7 is more of a sedating point. Okay? So it has to be something uh, like and the chair, earth point, right? Hmm. So what will be your answer for pericardium seven? Pito lang yan na questions, pero medyo kailangan mag-iisip ka, di ba? Opo. Okay. So when you sedate, you you actually um using it for somebody who is you feels agitated. So sa mga natitirang choices, um alin sa palagay mo would would most likely pair with pericardium seven. Um, Saan ba dyan ang like when you have insomnia, does it mean that you comes are... the spit? I'm sorry. And uh, doc, um, my answer po yung comes the spirit. Ay. Tama ba yung letter, letter So B, the answer letter is B. letter B. Yes po, yung comes the spirit. So that's Expanded. pericardium 7. I'll give you a yes. clue. Di ba magkatabi lang sila ni heart 7? They are on the same line. So probably they have the same functions, right? Oh. Counts the spirit, di ba? Shen man. Oh, so expands the chest, binubuksan niya, myocarditis, insomnia. Insomnia, you cannot, you cannot sleep. So you need pericardium 7 and also palpitations. Okay? okay. Although lahat yan, ano. Okay, so what will be your answer for pericardium 8, Ma'am Lane, for number 6? 
Isabot ko po yung ano, uh, letter E. Pericardium shock. 8? Ay. Kasi fire point siya, uh, di ba? So, mouth, wala... mouth problems pala siya. Mm -hmm. So, heat exhaustion. Coma from stroke. Letter D po. Okay, letter, letter D. D. And for number 7, pericardium 9, the answer is? Letter, ano ba ba yung dinas? Letter E. Letter E po pala. Yung shock, high fever, coma, wakes up okay. patient. Punta naman tayo dito. Let's concentrate on the left column. Okay? So, meron kang isang pasyente na ang daming phlegm. Kasi kung marami kang phlegm, may tendency for you to get depressed at the same time masisiraan ka ng bait and you feel heavy. No? Uh, then you have this morning sickness. Napakayaw mo yung pagising mo sa umaga. Kaya you end up... So, if you have a patient who is like that, um, your, your, your point of choice would be what point? What is the point? Kasasabi lang natin kangina. PC5. PC5. Mm. PC5. Phlegm, morning sickness. Okay. <coughs> or letter B. Um, you need a sedating point here. Comes to spirit. May insomnia, may palpitations, myocarditis. So what is the sedating point of the pericardium? Seven po. Seven. Pericardium seven. And then for letter C, meron tayong vomiting. Vomiting pa lang that is already a given. Counter flow G. This key point, right? Heat exhaustion. Itatapod mo na siya sa dagat. So what is your answer here? BC3. BC3. Okay, for letter D, you have a patient who had a stroke. BC8 po. Na comatose. May heat exhaustion. At saka ang daming heat. So you need a fire point here. So what are you going to do with PPC-8? Are you going to tonify it or sedate it? Of course you have to sedate. Oh, oh. So dito natin makikita. Kaya yung iba, instead na matulungan yung pasyente, walang ginawa sa pericardium-8. Kaya inatake tuloy. Do you see the risk here? So this is not just a matter of like just because it's a fire. Of course, if uh, you have a patient na hindi hindi magising, you're going like if you have a patient the comatose from stroke. What are you going to do? Are you going to sedate pericardium eight or are you going to tonify it? Sedate. Na hindi na siya magigising. <laughs> hindi na siya magigising, de ba? What are you going to do? You tonify. Yes? You want to put more fire. Wala, wala na siyang fire. Diba? You're, you're unconscious. Okay? So you just don't sedate. You only sedate it when you want to drain the heat. Because this is a fire point. That means you have to remove the fire. You have to remove the heat. Right? Okay, let's go to letter E. Your answer for letter E is wakes up the patient. Okay. Hypertension, coma, high fever. So, pag high fever, what are you going to do? Are you going to tonify? Of course, this is a... Okay, just because this is a tonifying point, you, ton you use it to just tonify kahit may fever. So in this case, mataas yung fever. What are you going to do? Sedate. Sedate it. Pero uh, basically, it's a it's a tonifying point because we use it to wake up the patient. Diba? 
I hope that's clear. Letter F. Letter F is um, when you have mastitis. So this is more of a channel issue. Uh, angina, comes the spirit, palpitations. So hindi siya masyadong popular. It expands the diaphragm. Actually, mahirap talaga. So, but if you're going to analyze things, this is the only one with mastitis, right? Is yun lang ang mastitis. Ano ba yung mastitis? Minsan hindi nakakapag pa breastfeed yung yung baba yung nursing. Very engorged na breast yan dok. Yes, so you're going to use pericardium for. And lastly, uh, for letter G. We're going to use pericardium 6. So what's the difference between motion sickness and morning sickness? <laughs> Do you want that kind of exam? <laughs> Ay, maganda ito sa association, no? Motion sickness, morning sickness. Now you, you know the difference. Okay. Actually, ito mga taong, ano, may phlegm, ang pinakaayaw nila yung pagising sa umaga. Nahirapan talaga sila gumising. So marami ng phlegm yan. That's why they end up depressed. They're not actually looking forward to a new day. No? Okay. And I think we have to start uh, walking and walking. And kasi alam nyo naman, when you walk, you actually, ay, yeah, kayo, I was so impressed with, na-inspire ako ni Dr. Sam na lumiito talaga siya. So, sige lang. Um, well, giving these lectures will actually motivate you. And I notice ang ganda ng feeling talaga. So, if you're going to, you know, analyze it, di ba? Andun yung sa paa natin, nandun yung kidney, yung liver, yung spleen. And we all know that these three yin organs are very, very important. Andun din yung bladder, no? yung mga partner nila, yung stomach, of course, and the gallbladder. So I hope that was a no. Okay, ito naman, next. Who would like to answer this? Let's call on, uh, I'm sorry, yes, uh, Sir, Dr. Samuel? Dr. Sam? Samuel, yes, we call. Okay. Yep. <laughs> uh -oh. uh, the master point of Yun Wei channel uh, used with spin 4. It's spin 6. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Very this is six. Yeah. This is six. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What is the Yin Wei channel? So we're going to take that up. Uh, mm -hmm. After, okay, actually, after this, the about three weeks at um, mm -hmm. we're going to talk. We're going to take up Ren and do next week, and then we're going to do Yin linking. Yin, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, okay. But anyway, uh, what is important for you us to know now is, uh, we use, uh the confluent points, pericardium 6 and spleen 4 mm. um, to, ano, to open the yin way channel no? or the yin linking channel. Okay. What is the tonification point, Dr. Sam? Uh, that's PC9, pericardium 9, okay. and the sedation Tonation point is PC7. Okay. Okay. What is a window of sky point? Ah, uh, that is pericardium 1. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean by window of the sky? Actually, tatanong ko sana sa end of eh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, okay. ganito lang yan. The coming and going of the chi to and from the head. Ooh. Kaya, hindi kayo pumunta ah, okay. sky or sa heaven. Um, there are times na because of some obstructions, yung gusto mong mangyari sa buhay ni nangyayari kasi nga may nakabara so PC1 as we all know is a very important point okay mm -hmm. and if you needle that it can actually open up the channel if you remember what did we mention about PC what's it mentioned I did not mention okay anyway mm -hmm. I think it was mentioned kanina okay um, source point Alindo? What is uh, the source point? point? That's uh the source point is same with uh uh sedation point uh, that is the pericardium seven. Yeah. What is another okay? <clears throat> this is synonymous to what point? 
in the five shoe or the five antique points. Mm -hmm. The shoe stream point, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, what exactly do we mean by source point? Source point? So, uh, dito, actually, nanggagaling yung ano mo. Like, yung... if, if you have issues with the pericardium, this is going to be tender. Uh, just like kidney tree. Kidney tree is also the source point for the kidneys. And um, you will notice, okay, why didn't mention kidney tree? Kasi yung mga may issues talaga sa pericardium or sa heart, may problema rin sa kidney. I'm actually mm -hmm. someone who is... Um, Medyo, ano, alam mo, amazing talaga, grabe. Uh, kangina, we were on our third session, uh, 78 years old. Um, she ca He came because of uh, prostate problem. Pero I went deeper. I tried to explore. Of course, you need to ask, bakit humina? Diba? Alam naman natin na it's the kidneys that control the bladder, right? And mm. I found out that he only had one kidney. And what happened to the other kidney? Nakaroon doon ng kidney cancer when he was mm. in his 30s or 40s. And so, um, ewan ko anong nakain ko, pero I was like looking at baano ba nagkakaroon ng cancer ang isang tao. So, I asked him, um, at what age did you stop wetting your bed? O kailan ka tumigil sa... Um, Ano ba tawag dito? Bed wet. <laughs> oh, neurisis. Would you like to guess at what age he stopped? Okay, at age 14. So that's a bit medyo alarm. No? Ewan ko lang kung meron pa ba. So medyo late, 14. Ano ka na no? Uh -huh. no? So there must be a reason. Alam mo ba, fear has actually a lot to do with it. And he was so like surprised. I asked him, how was your relationship with your father or with your parents, with the brother? Mm. So, sabi niya, it was hell. Talagang, mm. ang galit, nung, ano, may mga sensitive issue. Doon na iba um sa kanya. Parang, in, nagtataka siya bakit ganun. Parang, he did not feel the love that, you know, nung bata. And then the mother couldn't do anything. So ngayon, 78 na siya, namatay na rin yung brother niya. And there was a time the brother had to tell him, actually, since mag mas magaling daw itong pasyente na to kaysa sa kanya, kinainggitan niya, namatay na rin. Mm. And uh, so sabi ko, uh, napatay na sila lahat kasi 78 na siya, pati mother na <laughs> father niya. Sabi ko, have you forgiven your father? Sabi niya, No. So, kaya meron pa siya hanggang ngayon anxiety. Eh, alam mo, nung pinaiyak ko siya nung pinaiyak, no, I also used other points, um, he felt a lot better na wala yung issue niya with the bladder. Uh, in fact, he was asking if kailangan na itigil yung gamot niya for his bladder, na, which he has been taking for 20 years. Sabi ko, you may continue, may not. And when I saw the tongue, nag-improve talaga. So, I'll probably share it with you next time, no? Uh, yun. And kangina, he had to give... Say, can I give you a big hug? Kasi it was our third visit. And he felt a lot better. And sabi ko, you have to promise me when I see you again next time that siguro what your uh, father really wants or your brother, kasi patay na both, is for you to forgive them, which he hasn't actually... Sabi ko, uh, lahat naman tayo namamatay, no? pati pang Halloween na yung at ano natin. I asked him, if you're going to say goodbye, okay, who would like who would you like to meet in the other dimension? Or in heaven, if you go to heaven? Sabi ko, sabi niya, no one. Yung mother lang niya. So, ibig sabihin, nandoon pa rin yung anger. Kaya yung anxiety niya, hindi pa rin siya makatulog. Pero um, nakakatulog naman if... Yeah. So siguro the only thing that we can do there is to actually... So I, I used the points, um, my favorite points, ni yung Do23, NGB, yung favorite ni Machocha. 
and he felt a lot better. Yun. So I will update you. So yung ibig sabihin, uh, you need to actually use these points, no window of the sky. So para to actually make you connect with ano, um, mm. you know, forgiving is really is is really something that um we need to ano, we need to do if we want to feel better. Yun. At saka nag-transform yung mukha niya. But anyway, I'll probably... Okay, whatever. So yun na. I, I'm just so happy to share this with you because you might be encountering patients who are like this. And... Um, yun. <laughs> so maraming salamat. So yun po. Ah. Okay, continue, Dr. Sam. Mm, Number uh... 19. Yes, uh, the main point for mild problems, it was actually mentioned earlier. Yes. It's pericardium 8. Yes, because it's a fire. And, mm -mm, it's a fire. And then main the main point for phlegm. Point for, yeah, the main point for uh, phlegm is PC5, pericardium 5. Oh. Morning sickness, diba? Morning. Mm. Okay, I have another one for you. Like, What's the best point for motion sickness, jet lag? Uh, PC6. <laughs> Very good. Brilliant. Alam niya, excited ako kasi kukunti lang na may memorize natin sa pericardium, di ba? Huwag <laughs> natin to be ignore. And I love the pericardium because um, I also use this to, ano, to calm the patient, especially PC6. Okay. Okay. Your answer for number 15, Dr. Sam? It's pericardium 4. It's the main point for angina, palpitations, yes. and chest pain. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Uh, questions po? Or did you enjoy pericardium so far? Let's move on to the next one. I won't call Dr. Sam anymore kasi pinapakyaw ko na sa kanya lahat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go to... Uh, pinadala ko na to ha with this uh, outline. So before we go to Han Xiaoyang, we are going to give you this one. What's a tonifying point for SJ? San Jiao Tri. Hmm? Sedation point is Sanjiao 10. Bakit siya ganon? Okay, Ma'am Darlene, can you tell me why is Sanjiao 3 the tonification point? Sanjiao 3. Um, Sanjiao 3 ang tonification. Okay, ganito po. I'll teach you. Okay, I'm sure you have um, remembered how we... I'd like to believe you watched the videos, the shoe string, <laughs> the yuan so... Ano ba to? Five shoe points or antique points. Pero mukhang halatang hindi nyo pinanood or hindi nyo kinarear. But anyway... Na, nanonood do kanya lang medyo dami. hindi pa nagsisink in lahat. <laughs> Ngayon, magsisink in na to. Okay. Pagyang channel po, ano po yung una-unang point? Metal. Yeah, metal. So, Sanja 1, metal. So, Sanja 2 is water. Water. So, Sanja 3 is what? Wood. Okay. So, why is it the tonification point for Sanja? Um, because it is the wood point. The wood point. And what element is Sanja? Uh, Sanjo is a um, um, fire element. Fire. Right? Or baka meron ka ibang element for Sanjo. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a fire element. Can everybody get that? So we just don't memorize. No? Yes. So Sanjo tree is a tonification point because being a young channel, it is the wood point. Okay, maybe you can answer why Sanjiao 10 is the sedation point. Uh, hmm. 
Okay, do you want to chart? <laughs> yes po. Dapat ang ano. Okay, can you can you show us your chart? Okay, I'd like you to look at San Chao. Okay. Um, sedation point is supposed to be the sun of the fire, so it should be the earth point, right? Papa. So what's the earth point of um, earth point of the fire element? Uh, or or point of the fire element is or earth point of San Jiao. Um, uh, San Jiao three po. Do you all ten? San Jiao ten. Ah, San Jiao ten. <laughs> so what will be your answer? Why is um San Jiao ten the sedation point for the San Jiao? Because it is the child. It is the oh, yeah. earth point. The earth point. Oh. Gusto mong mawala ng, kumawala yung, yung fire, lagyan mo ng maraming lupa. <laughs> Gusto mong dumami yung fire, lagyan mo ng kahoy. That's it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Horari yes. point. Why is San Jiao 6 the horari point? What do you mean by horary point? Okay. Ano uh, element ng San Jiao? Fire. San Jiao. San Fire. 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 So fire. the horary point is the fire point of the fire. So what is the fire point of San Jiao? San Jiao 6. And then, <laughs> San Jiao 6. Okay. Okay, I'd like everyone to... Okay. Uh, so San Jiao 3 is the tonification point. Yes, Pa. And siguro naman by now, you already know the the pathway of the San Jiao, no? So it's good for the ears, uh, for tinnitus, deafness, upper back pain. Okay, sino ka partner ni San Jiao? Uh, sa ano? Uh, sa, um, sa six channels. Si ano po? Si... Gallbladder. 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 Okay. Um, upper back pain allergies foot, foot show yang okay now let's go to SJ5 SJ5 is how do you classify SJ5 um, <laughs> SJ5 okay SJ5 is for Wei Chi for the immune system and also psychological defenses. SJ6, this is so effective for constipation. We will not go into the point, the location. Um, it is expected that you already know where it is. No? Yung iba kasi alam na alam lang yung point, pwede naman alam, hindi naman pwedeng justify why this point is being used. Okay? So I think thanks to Google, we can easily locate it. Okay, so it's good for skin problems. And it, okay, uh, SJ is um, so when you talk about skin problems, you will be talking about what yin organ? So, paano uh, lang. related si San Jiao sa lungs? Of course, alam naman natin lung and large intestine, kaya intestines, no? Skin problems. Okay, so anong connection ni? San Jiao. Diba? Anyway, I think it's it's a given. Um, constipation, intestine, skin problems, right? 
uh, SJ is uh, yeah, gallbladder, gallbladder, and at pa pa palayo na ng palayo. Okay, SJ7 for confusion and senility. SJ10 for neck swelling, scrofula. So if you have neck swelling, what are you going to do? So you have to determine if it is excess or deficient. Diba? Kasi pag excess, you have to sedate it. So, doon na talaga makikita yung impact ni SJ10. But, if it is deficient, it is soft, probably mayroong phlegm, then you have to tonify it. Okay, SJ17 is local point for the ear. I think you know where to find that. Very easy. And, I think there's more. Eh, wala na pala. So yun lang yung pinaka importante. So let's go to the points. Would you like to answer the first question, Ma'am Darlene? Um, yes, po. Okay. Number one, how uh, how would you pair? Who would you pair it with? The SJ number. Yes, that means F po. I am bilis. And don't si see ear, no? And being the tonification point, then it can facilitate circulation, benefits ear, deaf, mutism, tinnitus, pain in the shoulder, back, elbow, and very good. Okay, baka tuloy tuloy mo na, ma'am, darling. Number <laughs> three, SJ5. SJ5, immune system psychological. Um, Ay, ang bilis. O, di ba? Pinakita ko na kanina. D. Letter D. Okay. Uh, Tuloy-tuloy mo na. Number three. <laughs> hindi kasi para man hindi mawala yung momentum. Okay, number three. Okay. Um, SJ... Number three. Six. Um, SJ6. Di ba sinabi ko kanina, very effective yan for constipation. Yung mga nakong-constipate siya. Especially pag may... Yeah. G. Spreads chi, habitual constipation, liver chi stagnation. Minsan nakakonstipate kapag galit ka. Okay. Ayaw lumabas. Number four. Number four. Yes. Uh, SJ7. Um, C doc. Yes. Tama po. Cleft. Um, yeah. Yung masakit dyan sa may part na yan. Okay, SJ. You were talking about the channel. So usually yung mga hindi na maalsa na mga old people's problems. Okay, let's go to, tapusin mo na, number five. SJ10, um, sedation point. SJ10, um, letter, letter B. Oh, very easy. <laughs> Phlegm. Okay. Um anong pericardium point will easily pair with it to deal with phlegm and morning sickness. Um yung kanina. No wala na. <laughs> Sige review ah, review. Okay. Kanina yan, uh, mag-sync in. PC5 to. Yeah, PC5. PC5, PC5. with. Uh, PC5 with, ano po? Um, J10. Or J10. SJ10. Okay, SJ10. number six. SJ17. Yung nasa ear, dito. Uh, letter A. Very good. Yeah. And SJ23, the last one. I won't call you again later. <laughs> letter E. Pinagpapawisan na ako, Doc. Yeah, letter E. Where is SJ23? SJ23. Mm. SJ23. 
Ilang po ba ang SJ? Uh, eyebrow. And the eyebrow. On medial. Lateral. Lateral yeah. end of the eyebrow. Very good. Now you know. Okay. I will Thank call. You. Thank you very much, Ma'am Darlene. Pwede mo na pawis. <laughs> Nasaan mo na yung pawis mo. At pwede mo kong tawagin mamaya. I would like to call. Okay. Paka nang ready-ready na itong si ano, Miss Joy. Good evening po. Good evening. O, di ba? Sa pao na pala ng boses, ready-ready na to. 8 to 15. Gusto ko nga po sana yung, yung, naka, yung binigay nyo kay Doc Sam eh. Doon ako reading rest. <laughs> but I will try. <laughs> I have to do it. Sige, I'll, I'll, we will guide you. Okay po. Yung po bang ano, answers dito Doc, kailangan nandun lang sa binigay ninyo o hindi po? Any SJ point? I mean, kasi parang yung binigay nyo po na ano, yung SJ ah, points. Any, po any, lahat. any po. Ah, okay any. po. Okay, kasi baka po nagkamali ako ng ano. Okay, so number eight po. Number eight, meeting point of three upper young meridians. Mm -hmm. According po to my <laughs> SJ8. Okay. Tama po ba? Yeah, hindi naman minention natin ang SJ8 kanina. Three, three young connection. Three young connection. SJ8. Tama po ba? What's your answer? SJ8 po. Very good. Nag-aral talaga. Okay, good. What about number nine? Confluent. Okay. Um, Kangina. Number confluent. Okay. Uh, excuse muna. Kangina, si Dr. Sam, you remember. Um, Pinagot niya yung confluent point ng yin wave. Right? Apo. Ano yun? PC6 combined with spleen 4. So ngayon naman, si yang wave. Makikilala natin yung mga yin way, yang way na yan sa susunod. Okay. Apo, si SJ5 po. Ay, wow, ang galing. Okay, go. SJ5. Okay. Horary point. For 10 horary point. Um, ano po? SJ6. Okay. Water point. No, water point. Number 11 po ba yun? Yes. Number 11 SJ, ang sagot ko po ay SJ9. Tama no, po ba ako? No, 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 Sa aking no, no, no. ano, take a wait. Okay, ganito. Take a water. Isip-isip muna tayo ha. Sabi kang nina, pag SJ, <coughs> yung channel, ang metal ang first. Ah. So, sinong susunod? Water point to eh. So, after po ng water, Wait, wait lang po. After ng metal. After ng metal, water. Sino so, po bang metal? Ang metal natin is SJ1, right? Do you agree? Mm. Remember, this is... Ay, oo nga po. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Ang water po is SJ2. Very Spring. good. Yes. Okay, source point ng SJ. Source point po. SJ4. Po, ang sagot ko. Oh, ang galing. Tama po ba? Ano ba ibig sabihin ng source point? Kanina po, inanon niyo po yan eh, kung ano ibig sabihin ng source <laughs> point. <laughs> o oh, sige, kailangan talaga, alam niyo kasi ganito <laughs> lang yan, pag naintindihan mo talaga and you love what you're doing, it will sink in, right? Remember, we just don't memorize. Of course, you need to memorize, but it would be easier to memorize if Sa totoo lang, you know what my grand plan is for all of you? You'll all become lecturers. No? So, antay-antay yes. lang kayo. Kasi papalecture ko kayo ng biomedicine. So, consider it an honor to be to be asked to lecture. <laughs> Ay, gusto ko yan. Okay. Um, so, bakit nga po ba source ang ano na ng doc? Teka, kasi ila. Ano, ano ba ang source point? Source point. Why is it called uh, a source point? Di ba nandyan yung source chi? Where the yuan, where the yuan chi surfaces. Yeah, yung, yung primary chi. Asokasan ko ang yuan chi. 
Yeah, so yan yung ano mo. Uh, that's that's the stuff you're made of. <laughs> okay? Mm. So, yun din po yung command points, Doc. Tama ba? Command. Iba din yung command points. Iba din yung, yung command point. Mm, iba pa rin po. One at a time. Hindi pa naman tinatalo mm. sa command point eh. Command point ng abdomen. Parang kapag basta ng same. Baka po kasi same yung siya ng ano. Yeah. Kasi po ba na, na, nakikita ko po yun minsan sa ibang sources po sa Google eh. Na meron parang command point ka na. Yeah. Tulad ng lang sa First point. Command point. Two, one. Hmm. Okay. So okay, you're, I'm very happy that you're already getting the feel of of uh, this one. Okay. Next, oh, ito, very easy to. Number very 13. important. Main point for shoulder problems level with LI15. Shoulder problems. Wala po yun dun sa list, no? Wala. <laughs> Wala ko. Ang ko po. SJ4 eh. din po ba? Dahil kasi di ba yeah. nasa may bandang SJ4. SJ4. Malayo na ano sa... Po ba? Nasaan po ba ang LI... LI15? Okay, pag nag... Ano ka, ginanon mo yung kamay mo, nag sideways, may mapifeel ka na parang... Yeah. Ayan, dinademo na ni Dr. Sam. Ah, dito po sa may shoulder. Yeah. Sa may shoulder po ba? Yeah. Shoulder. Tignan nyo yan. Okay. So, LI15 and SJ14. SJ14. So, this is for local form. And it's, you have to, you have to really palpate it if it needs to be needled. Most local point for ear problems. SJ17. SJ17. No. For ear. Diba, local, remember yung tatlo po. dito? Remember yung tatlo? Ang the tatlo most do. local. Ibig sabihin yung pinakamalapi. <laughs> ah, ay, hindi po ba SJ17 do? Kaso lang dito sa SJ17. Diba local point SJ17 for the ear. Natin. Local point. Pero ang tanong dito, most local point. Ah, mo, meron pang most. Yes. OMG. SJ17 nandito. <laughs> nandito lang <laughs> Ay, nandito pala, dito. Nasa likod yun ng ear. Na, Oo, oh, oh, ito, pag inano mo to, tinabunan. Ito, oh. Saan, Dok? Adjaan. Ano? Mas malapit. Sige, pag nasagot mo yan, may, alam mo na yung follow up. So, SJ18 po. Ang malapit. Malap lahat sila malapit sa ear. Ay, SJ21. SJ21. <laughs> so, sino pa yung dalawa? Patlo yan sila eh. SJ21. SJ20, Doc. Malapit din. No, 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 no. No. Nasa ba? Di ba nasa, tapa, nasa taas po ng That's ear? That's us, Ma'am Lynn. She knows the answer. Yung tatlo. SI19. SI19. SJ21. And? Number 2. GB20. No. GB20. GB20. Ang um, GB20 po sa face, diba? Sa likod, sa gallbladder 20. Ay, GB2 po. GB2. 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 S okay. SJ21. SI17. And GB2. The most local point. And it's SI19. So, it's so effective. You have to... Ay, SI19 po ba? Yes. Yeah. Uh, SI19. SJ21. SI19. GB2. Okay, the last item, the Luo point. Luo what do you mean by point. Luo point? The Luo point is... Okay, papagutin natin si ano. Manood-nood namang din kayo ng mga ano. <laughs> Nakaka ba kasi, Dok, pag <laughs> tinawag ka, tapos hindi... Kahit Actually, alam mo, kahit alam mo siya before, hindi mo na siya alam ngayon. <laughs> Hindi, Hindi manila, paulit-ulit naman to eh. Luo point, connecting point. Ibig sabihin, if you needle this point, you're actually affecting its... Uh, the main... No, no, the, the, the interiorly, exteriorly related organ. So, ibig sabihin, you also affect the pericardium. Thank you. Actually you. affecting the pericardium. Okay. 
So what the what is the point? The luo point. Okay, the luo. Feeling ko po yung mali yung sagot ko dito. Pero I'm just gonna try. It's uh, just hey, wait, opposite pericardium 6. 5SJ5 po yung sagot ko dun sa ano yung eh, luo. Oh, very good. Luo what? point. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> tama <laughs> Oh, it's good na. Pwede ka mag-catch up. Iba talaga mga students ni Dr. Sam. Grabe. I'm so proud of all of you. We're actually creating a brand, uh, a world-class brand. Oh, diba? Global brand. So you cannot be global if your knowledge is so pedestrian. Okay? I think. So let's not be... Let's be... Uh, no. Let's try our, our very best to be very big. Okay? Next. Uh, thank you very much, Mom Joy. Thank you, Padok. Thank you very well. Thank you very much for really, really... Alam na appreciate ko talaga yung nag effort talaga mag research, no? Okay. Now let I hope you remember all the points. Sa totoo lang itong points na to, ito lang tandaan nyo. Okay na talaga, no? Yeah. Uh, let's go to Foot Shaoya. Foot Shaoya. Maybe I could call on... Sino po hindi natatawagan? Okay, balik tayo kay... Oh, Sir Michael. Marami-rami ito ah. Hati sila dalawa ni Ma'am Angel. <laughs> Marami-rami. But anyway, before we go, allow me to... Okay, let's let's start. Marami po. Ilang points po meron ang gallbladder? How many points? 44. 44. Okay. Let's start with Sir Michael. And never mind. Okay. Ano, bakit tinatawag na tonification point ang GB43? Saan si Sir Michael? Di ba GB to? So nag-uumpisa sa GB44. GB44 is what? Sir Michael, are you there? Yes po. Doc, kinahan ko pa. <laughs> Nandiyan ko na ako. Okay. Anong element ang gallbladder? Ang gallbladder. Naku. Uh, ang gallbladder po, wood po. Yeah, pag... huh? Wood po, element. Wood. Okay. Sino yung mother ng wood? Uh, si water po. Si okay. Kidney. Yeah. Okay. So, bakit tinatawag na tonification point ang gallbladder 43? Hmm. Kasi siya po yung ano eh, uh, kung water po, so siyempre yan spring po siya, no? Siya po yung tonify talaga. Ng, uh, Plus, water po. point siya. Water Opo. point siya ni gallbladder, the wood. Opo. Gold bottle is wood. Okay, so kung uh, sino ang metal point ng gold bladder? Uh, si ano po? Gold bladder 44. Very good. Oh my God. Now he got it. What about the sedation point? Bakit GB38? GB38 po. Uh, kasi po yan po yung fire. No? So kailangan ko limit po sedation po yan as a river point. So sedation point is a fire. The fire point. GB30. Okay. Horary point. Bakit yung tinawag na horary point? Hmm, horary GB41. point. Kasi yung po yung wood point eh. Ng, ng, ano, ng shoe stream. Shoe stream po sa wood point. Um, wood point ng ano? Uh, ng shoe wood stream. element. Opo. So, ito yung wood point ni gallbladder. Apo. So, wood point is GB41. Apo. So, it's the wood point of the wood element. Okay. GB1, remember this. Where is GB1, Sir Michael? And GB1. Can you show us? Can you show your camera? <laughs> Can you show your face? in the... 
Jume 1. <laughs> Ang dami kasi doon. Oo, ano ba ito nagpapani? Oo nga. <laughs> Excited oh, kasi doon. <laughs> meron yung hollow dyan, may tunog. Oo nga po, meron po. Maybe one. It's very good for the eyes. Yung mga sumasakit yung ulo dahil may problema sa mata. Okay. When I was still early in my life. Dito somewhere. Uh, GB1. Okay, GB2. Na-mention natin kanina yan for the ear. Dito po. Yeah. Okay, when you talk about the ears, the most local point, sino po yung dalawa pang kasama ni GB2? Yung SI kanina, nabanggit din kanina. You have to remember it. It's just like three minutes ago. <laughs> ano po siya? Ganun uh, ko talaga TV heart 20, blood deficiency. Saka TB22. <laughs> Oh, Sanjo 21, Sanjo 21, SI and, 19, and uh, Sanjo 22. Anong Sanjo 22? Is it Sanjo 22? SI 19. SI 19. Sanjo. Uh, SI 19. SI 19. Oh, oh yes. GB2 and... Sanjo 21. Okay. GB12 is for headaches and insomnia. GB14 is also for the eyes. That's why yung mga may problema sa mata, try nyo GB1 and GB14. It's also good. GB14 is also good for frontal headaches. Uh, gallbladder 20, very popular. Major point for headaches, the eyes, ears. Hypertension, dizziness, internal and external wind. So both internal. GB21, mag ganito ka lang o, oh, iganon mo siya. That's your GB21. You make a, what's this? What is this position? Yan, you feel mo. Mga masor marunong, ewan ko lang kung alam ba nila na GB21 yan. It pulls uh, the energy down. Uh, Especially if masyado kang nagalit, na stress, di ba? Taas yung energy mo niyan. So for the neck, trapezius problems, menses, contractions, breast hemiplegia. GB24 for any gallbladder issue, gallbladder stones, bitter taste. Alam nyo na, galit na galit na yan, no? Gallbladder 24, that's uh, liver young rising or liver fire. John this. GB25 is the alarm point of the kidney, remember? Uh, for the adrenals, builds the kidneys, those with low blood pressure. Gallbladder 26, for dump heat in the lower burner. So alam naman natin, may dump heat pag uh, yung coating ng tang mo, medyo nag yellow na. Diba? Sa posterior third. And uh, pag nag-ihi, medyo mapanghi no vaginal yeah, discharges gynecological distended abdomen the gb26 gb27 for the lower burner endometriosis gb29 for the hip dapat nakahiga yung pasyente and gb30 the main point for sciatica hmm? so kung may mga pasyente kayo may sciatica you have to learn how to needle gb30 GB31 for the legs. Uh, merong technique dyan kung paano i-locate siya. GB34 for muscle. Uh, alam naman natin to Influential point of the tendons, right? Muscle, te muscle tendon and joint problems, shoulder, knee, back, gallstones. Okay. GB37, eyes and cough. GB38, migraines. GB39, immune system. Specific for neck pain. Ay, nako, you try this. Na-try na rin yata ito ni Ma'am Lynn. Sabi niya, very effective daw. Lalo na sa mga may edad na. Okay. Right. I should try this. <laughs> GB40, more specific for rib pain and the eyes. GB41 for the breasts. GB43, headache, tinnitus, dizziness. GB44, headache. So... Let's call on Sir Michael to answer one to six. What's your answer for number one? So number one, sir, 
Adok, uh, GB20. The answer is? GB20 po. Uh, dispensing letter C. Okay, uh, very good. Disperses wind. I think it's napaka common ni GB20. No? Especially when you have both external wind and internal wind. Common cold, headache, stiffness, a stiff neck, vertigo, hypertension. Number two, okay. Sir Michael. Number two po is letter E. The letter E uh, for GB21. Uh, sciatica release E1C, pain mm -hmm. in lower back. No. Mm. Okay, try to read this. Mm -mm. Oh. GB21 pulls energy down, neck, trapezius problems, menses, contractions, breast, hemiplegia. Okay, so would you like to change your answer? Oh, you have to change your answer because it's wrong. Samit ka dito, pushes energy down. Bilisan mo lang yung pagbasa. Mm -mm. Answer is letter letter Kung palang pushes the energy down, nagko-communicate ka na with the yin organs. The answer is letter I. Did you see letter I? Communicates with yin organs, mastitis, hemiplegia, pushes energy down. Okay? Okay. Po. Number three, gallbladder 24. Or let's take a look at gallbladder 24 to make it easy. I don't think you can memorize it again. So GB24 Ooh. is for GB stuff, stones, bitter taste, jaundice. Jaundice. I'll let them know that. So, what is your answer here? Uh, letter, D, <laughs> letter D. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Kasi, uh, when you talk about gallbladder stuff, it's almost always damp heat in the gallbladder. Okay? So, damp heat, it drains damp heat. Uh, cholecystitis, jaundice, hepatitis, peptic ulcer. Okay, number four. Number four, number four, four uh, is GB25. What's your answer? Regulate. Balik tayo. Blind. Uh, GB25. Kidney. It's the kidney front move. Adrenals. Uh, with the kidneys. Uh, no. What's your answer? GB25, letter K. Sabi mo letter K. And dito na. Letter G. Nephritis, intestinal hernia, lumbago. Number yeah. five, Sir Michael, GB26. What Wala is po kasi. Wala okay. po kasi. Wala po kasi. Oo, nabura yan. Okay. Oh, but GB26, dump it sa lower burner, vaginal discharges, Gynecological distended abdomen. So let's take a look. What's your answer? GB26. GB26. Uh, letter B po. Okay. Okay. Dito pa, dump hit pa rin, no? Letter J. J. Endometritis, cystitis, profuse blood, and leukorrhea. Leukorrhea, may lumalabas na discharge. Binago lang natin. Okay? Pag may lumalabas sa discharge ng babae, that's very dumb. Okay? Number six. Six. GB30. What is GB34? Main point for sciatica, hip and back problems. Ito na po yung letter E? Yung letter E ko. Yes, letter E. Letter e. Sciatica releases yuan chi. Nire releases yuan chi. Pain in the lower back and legs. So remember this: the main point for sciatica is gallbladder thirty. Okay. Gusto mo pang ipagpatuloy, sir? 
Tuloy na lang natin. Lima na lang. Eh. Ato, <laughs> doko wala ko yung J, yung JK. Wala ko sa, wala sa, sa answer sheet ko kaya nahirapan akong imakanis. Ay, sorry, ko sorry po. Sorry. Anyway, uh-huh. I'll, I'll anyway. give you a copy again. Okay, number uh-huh. seven is GB34. So this is a very familiar point. This is frequently mentioned. Okay, muscle, tendon, and joint problems. In fact, it is called an influential point for the tendons. Shoulder, back, gallstones, constipation, sciatica. So what's your answer here? Letter A po, Doc. Your meeting point of muscle. Yeah. Meeting point collect- for the muscles and tendons, hepatitis, cholecystitis, habitual constipation. And for number oh. eight, GB38, would you like to take a look? At the Código, GB38, migraines. Oh, migraines. So, yung migraines ko po, Doc, uh, letter H. Letter H po, Doc. Yes. <laughs> It's a sedation point. Uh-oh. Migraine, Uh-oh. hemiplegia, excessive perspiration. Uh-oh. O, di ba? Ang dami na natin natutunan ngayon. Ewan ko lang kung papasok sa ulo natin to. Ang dami po kasi, Doc. Pero wala po kasi sa pag-ibig. Kaya pala ako nahirapan. Ah. <laughs> wala sa dito. Uh, kaya nga nire-record natin to. You might want to look at this. Um, yung pinadala ko na bago na PDF file, that's already with this uh, notes, no? Ah, pa, pa. Um, okay, let's go to number eight. Number eight po. Ay, as we discussed Kata-kata. earlier, GB39, number 9, GB39. What's your answer for GB39? 39, uh... Yeah, still um, sciatica, immune system, bones and joints, specific for neck pain. Neck pain? Matatanda, yung sumasakit na batok. Can I answer the number, letter F, for this one? Is the letter F. F. Wait lang. Oh, may narrow, narrow heat, stiff neck. Uh-oh. Yeah, letter F. Very good. Mm-hmm. Clear, narrow heat, stiff neck, migraine, boost immunity, broken bones. GB39, yes, remember that. Number 10. Uh, number 10 is... GB41. Then na. Sige, tinan natin ulit. Number 10. Okay. Ay, Rest, Maria. painful menses. This mm. So GB41. Mm. So the answer is yeah. letter B. Yeah, mali. Diyan ako nagkamali, Dok. Kasi dalawa sa girdle. Oh, hindi daw lang pupas. Kasi mala, masyadong mahaba. Uh-oh. Irregular menstruation, breast. Gird, regulates the girdle channel. And number 11, GB37. May may po. Po. Oh. Wala, no, wala akong sagot dyan kasi wala sa list ko po yung ano. Yung... Okay. okay. So the, the answer should be letter G. Mm. Night blindness, cataract, migraine. Okay. Lagay ko po yan, Doc, kasi wala po sa list, wala po sa list ko yan. Eh. Okay. Number 11. No problem. Thank you very much, Sir Mike. Or, or gusto mo tapusin na natin? Dito na. Para kay, kay Ma'am Angel na yung next, yung the last topic, liver. Okay, alarm point for the gallbladder? Uh, answer ko mo dito, Doc, yung GB24. Alarm point for the kidney? For a kidney. Uh, GB25. Very good. Wow, ang galing. Starting point of DIMO, the girdle channel. Um, as we discussed earlier, the the UC three UC stream wood is GB forty one. No, GB twenty six. Oh, GB twenty six. Okay, correcting ko pa yan. Wala ako dyan. The starting point ko to non. Uh, okay, correcting ko po yun. Okay, number fifteen. Meeting point for the Maro and three young meeting point. What's your uh, GB39. GB okay. Master point of the girdle channel or the belt uh, channel. 
Ang sulit ko po ay dalawa doon eh. GB31 po. Very Plus good. Seven, Very good. Congratulations, Opo. Sir Michael. I won't call you again. <laughs> Let's go to the last one. Okay, Ma'am Angel. Pagtutulungan nyo ito ni Ma'am Lane. Pero mukhang kaya mo naman. O si Ma'am Lane yung mamaya ito. O sige. Uh, let's start with... Ay, very easy. Okay. Punta muna tayo rito sa ano ha. Okay. Uh, 14... Okay. Tonification point of the liver is... Why is it... Why is liver 8? Liver 8 kasi po, um, water element po. Okay. Ang liver, liver 8. Water point. Water Papa, point. Papa, water point. Sorry, liver. sorry. Sedation point. Sedation point po is um, liver 2. Because uh, fire, it's fire point. point. Uh, Very good. Horary yes, point. Horary point is uh, liver point 1. The, wood point po. Of the wood element. Wood of, one. Yes, Very yes, good. Okay. Uh, sige, arali natin to ha. Can you tell us about... Uh, sige, basahin mo na lang to for the benefit of everyone. Liver 2. Liver 2 po is uh, liver fire, excess, yin normal, uh, young yes. excess or excessive. Menstrual flow, stagnant excess, heat, hypertensive, headache or... Headache. Headache with lots of heat. heat. Angry. Angry. Okay. Liver yeah. three. Liver three. Drain heat. Um, yung yun yung yin shui. Mm -hmm. Most common channel point for headache. Strong calming effect on nervous system. Excessive bleeding. Blood storage problems. More for regulating menses and cycle. Okay. Hindi pa liver fire. Ano pa lang? Yin deficiency. Okay. Liver four. Um, liver 4 is uh, hepatitis, leg circulation problems. Okay. Liver 5, genital problems, gynecological problems or herpes. Okay. Liver 6, acute hepatitis. Mm -hmm. Liver 8, herpes, genital. Mm -hmm. Liver 5, use more liver 8, more cooling, nourishing. Liver 5, more dispersing. Liver 13, front mo of spleen. Liver 5, 14, front mo of liver. Okay, let's answer 1 to 7. 1 to 7. So, yung liver 2 po, uh, liver 2 kasi nakalagay. Ano yung keyword? Sedation point. Two? Ano yung hanapin mo? Um, Di drain ba? liver fire po. Uh, very po. Drain good. liver fire po. Yes, very good. So the answer is letter C. And answer is letter C po. Okay. Number so, two. Number two is liver three. Um, mm -hmm. Answer po is uh, letter B po. Very good. Okay, Pacify everybody the got liver. that. Huh? Okay, number three, liver four. Liver four po is... Um, um, spread liver chi answer is letter D po. Okay, spread, like uh, spread liver chi po. Apo. Okay. So, um, okay, always remember this ah, uh, uh, like uh, urinary retention. Uh, may kinalaman pa rin dito si liver. Okay? So kahit uh, pag, you know, kaya yung mga nakakaroon ng urinary retention, you have to improve the you have to do uh you improve the liver chi. Okay, number four, liver five. Um liver five. Liver five uh is um spread liver chi number a letter A. Okay. Spread liver chi damp heat in lower burner and and the endometritis, hernia or orchitis. Okay, alam mo anong orchitis, no? Yung, yung uh, namamaga, yung inflammation of the testis. Okay. okay. Masakit yan. So, liver five. And number five, liver eight. Number five po, si liver eight po, 
is um, letter F po, benefits the bladder, nephritis, vaginitis, prostitis, surface, and irregular menses po. Okay. So liver 8 is? Liver uh, 8 po. Okay. Is F. Number 6, liver 13, front mu of the? Liver... Liver 13 po. In front me of what? Um, liver 13. Teka lang po. Liver 13 is front mu of the spleen. Okay. Influential point for organ. Liver 14 is the um, front mu of the liver. Okay. What is uh, your answer for liver 13, number 6? Um, Answer ko po is letter G. Okay, disperses cold in the yin organs. Okay, because of uh, ito kasi yung front mo ng spleen, diba? Sa malabsorption of food, fatigue, so this is a given. And then liver 14, your answer is? Liver 14, yes, my answer is um, letter E facilitates spreading of liver chi, intercostal okay. neuralagia, chapo. It's the front meal of the liver. Maraming salamat, Ma'am Angel. Thank you, Pudo. Good job. And let's Thank call you, for our last one, si Ma'am Lane. Ma'am Lane? Good evening, po. Good evening. Um, number eight, yung sedation point for liver is uh, liver, liver two po siya. Okay, very good. Then, alarm point for the spleen. Ang alarm point ng spleen is uh, liver, liver 13. Very good. Alarm point for the liver. Ang alarm point ng liver is uh, liver 14. Very good. Meeting point for um, all yin organs. Uh, PC, try ko lang po kung tama. Ano PC? <laughs> liver pa rin. Ay. Liver meeting point. Mga pasabong. Ni research mo to. Wait, no. Liver 13 po. Very liver good. 13. Wow. Meeting point for all your organs is liver 13. Oh, excellent. Number 12. Uh, number 12, tonification point for liver is liver 8. Okay. Two liver points to be used cautiously in pregnancy. Li4? No, no, no. And, liver. Mm, two points. Kasi ba liver nakakaano sa uterus. Sa babae, diba? Kaya uh, very ano talaga siya sa mga uterine problems. Liver 2 and 3 po, Doc. Very good. Wow. Liver 2 and 3. Huh? So, kail hindi naman sinasabing bawal, but you have to be very cautious. Okay, luo point ng liver. Liver 5. Very good. And the easiest, <laughs> the points used in 4 gates treatment. LI4 for liver 3. Okay. Bakit siya tinawag na 4 gates? Kasi apat na dalawa sila bilateral. At the same time, you know, what is the importance of the four gates? Ma? <laughs> hmm. O siyempre, diba, bakit siya kinatawag ng four gates? Baka may magtanong, no? Google. Yeah. Strong regulator. Bakit nag-relax yung pasyente? Actually, May may kilala ako lahat kuno four gates niya muna which is naman na no a good thing especially when you have um, cheese or blood stagnation no parang pina-prime mo na, na gumagalaw na yung parang binubuksan mo yung gates okay yun. okay so LI4 and liver 3 okay so i hope you had a great time alam ko medyo nakaka-stress and to be honest, I'm not very familiar with all the other points. And I hope you appreciate today uh, tonight's lecture. 
Uh, sana ito na ginawa natin since, since week one. <laughs> Any comment, Dr. Sam? Do you like this one? Yes, Doc. Maganda. <laughs> Um, it it actually makes you think kung bakit yeah. yun ang ginagamit. No? Um, ang gusto namin kasi, like, um, we want to excel in not only academic, but uh, yung sa clinical. If you notice mm. as early as now, uh, we're trying our best to really prepare ourselves for uh, the clinical practice. Okay? You may be very good in theory, pero pag hindi mo siya, like, it's a different ano pag sa clinic in fact uh, parang hindi mo alam anong gagawin so it's always hmm. good to to go back and you know try to use other points hindi puro li4 and liver 3 lang no to be speak yeah, well. parang nakakaano naman kasi there there will be patients who will be asking why, why do you use the same points hmm. yon in fact may isang hindi uh, ano man nasa ano ako no meron daw isa talaga kaya tinigil na niya 23 sessions siya. Sabi niya, di ba, if you keep using the same points, so parang walang nangyayari, di ba, there must be something wrong. <laughs> so, yun. Sa iba. Sana, ano, um, we're not saying we're the best, but I guess it really pays a lot to always go back to basics. And somehow, nakita ko naman na mukhang kukunti lang talaga ang nag appreciate ng ganitong uh, approach, no? But, Ako, I, I, you know, especially if you have, you have patients like, you remember Dr. Ryan? Oh my God. So, you know, friends now, because um, you have to be honest. If you don't know so much, sabihin mo lang. So it's so difficult to pretend to know something na hindi mo naman talaga alam. And hmm. even if, kasi there will always be people who will dub, double check, no? So that's what we call budol. But if you'll be honest enough to admit now, okay, I'll look into that. But you have to exert more effort. So, para para medyo maglevel up naman, kawawa naman yung mga pasyente. So on uh, November 13, I hope uh, you'll all have time to attend. Um, this is something um, that I haven't done before. I will teach you all the strategies to how to actually see patients and uh, how to make the patient feel comfortable right away at the same time already treating the patient 70 80 percent of the time no uh will be um uh, alam ko medyo tipid tayo sa needle but i think people will appreciate that um we'll probably use the single point therapy um both sa body and sa ear so para habang ini-interview mo kinalma ng pasyente, marami nang mangyayari, no? And I would I, I would like all of us to be very good at asking questions. You don't even have to uh what's this? Give them a checklist which I find very stupid. Um you need to already know what to ask the patient just by looking, no? Kaya I hope everybody will find time to really go over the videos on diagnosis by looking, diagnosis by palpation, and soon we'll be starting diagnosis by listening and smelling. Yeah. Wow. So this is the way it should be. Um, para ano, mag-level up na. No? So thank you very much, everyone. I know it's hard work. Uh, <laughs> I really enjoy doing this because I believe that I still have to read more. I, uh, we have to grow together. We have to show everyone that we're here to to really try to excel so that um, uh, we can align ourselves with the medical uh, people. Let, let me be honest with you. Not all doctors, even if they're MDs, they don't really know <laughs> PCM. No? So, yes. And uh, you cannot get my respect if you don't even know how to diagnose using the tongue. So on uh, November 13, I'll teach you how to really already tell. Like even hindi pa niya binubuksan yung pinapakita yung dila niya, alam mo na yun yung itsura niya. No? Mm. And I would like to share with you 
uh, strategies on how to really attack the, the psyche of the patient. And uh, um, lately, I have been doing a lot of uh, reading, and I have uh, I have learned that uh, there are only three aspects that you have to remember: the essence, which is the Qing, and then the 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 Shen. Okay, so when you talk about the Shen, you also talk about the spirit. It means to be in all the emotions involved with the. Uh, the five or the ba pinaka important din yung sa heart de ba uh, and then uh, we have the chi always remember na hindi tayo perfect no so when you talk about the essence pag hindi maganda yung ano mo genes mo it's not the end of the world you just have to really look into the kind of uh, food that you take in the 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 stressors that are uh you know, that serve as a challenge for you. So it will all depend on how you are able to to handle stress. Alam ko may nun dyang iba na i-stress na rin. Yeah, pero you have to you have to handle stress with grace, no? Don't let, kasi talaga masisiraan ka ng bait. And remember, when the Shen is affected because of, hindi um, um, natin ma-avoid yan eh. You just have to embrace it. You just have to swallow it and try to eliminate it, uh, you know, using natural ways. And um, affected kasi talaga, you know, the chi. You know? So this is where we could really top people. Now, now we understand bakit yung iba suicidal. Bakit yung iba are better off dead than, you know, than continuing to, <laughs> to, you uh, know, so we can we can actually tweak their minds um, by uh, by by really um, addressing the real issues. No, of course we need to treat the symptoms, but we can go deeper than that. Um, especially when we deal with the back shoe points, and um, and I'm I'm very excited to share them with you. Of course, I cannot. I cannot tackle everything, no. Um, siguro na pansin yun naman na there are, you know, there are a lot of people who are having pain issues, and uh, these people think that acupuncture is just to relieve the pain, pero in reality, no, it actually goes deeper than treating the pain. It's also about uh, uh, discovering kung ano yung past ng pasyente. No, ganun na po dapat kalalim yung ating pinag-aaralan. So, I'm very very happy that uh, marami din palang willing to to really spend a lot of time and let's do this together. Let's uh, show the world that uh, we're really serious in what we're doing. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Any comments? Uh, okay. Doc, pwedeng... Pwede pong magtanong daw. Of course, yeah. Um, um, few days ago po kasi, yung mom ko, uh, find out, yung final find out sa kanya is seizure. Yung, nung nag-collapse po siya, pagdating na pagdating ko sa bahay, inano ko agad yung kidney one niya. Naka ano naman po, sumakit, masakit sabi niya. Tapos na itaas niya yung kamay niya. Tapos uh, syempre gusto ko ng science back up. Dinala ko po siya sa isang private hospital sa amin. Ang sabi ano po, um, mild stroke daw. Pero wala kasing nagbago. Uh, straight naman siya mag-speech, magsalita. Natataas naman niya yung kamay niya. Although nag, parang siya nag yung... Uh, limbs niya nung na umatake. Mm -hmm. So, gusto ng hospital na i-admit. Sabi kong ganun, pa-refer na lang po ako sa hospital, public hospital na may specialist na neurologist. So, pina let go naman po kami. Pumunta kami sa Jose Reyes. Nung nakita yung, yung CT scan, hindi naman daw po yun stroke. Seizure daw po yun. Mm -hmm. So, magtatanong po sana ako kung ano yung seizure. magandang points for seizure. Oh, yeah. Okay. When you have seizures, dahil po yan sa phlegm. 
So, may asthma po kasi ang mother ko. Yeah. So, hindi yan dahil sa... Siguro, ang dami niyang iniisip. And uh, I, I would like to believe, tinilang mo rin yung tang. Yes po. Yes po. Anong nakita mo sa tang? Uh, ano po? Uh, thick uh, coating na... Nag, nag, ano tawag doon yan? Nag gumagalaw po. And, oh, um, okay. Mm-hmm. And then... Yeah. My bite po. Mm-hmm. So, spleen. Yeah. Actually, it's a spleen and liver disharmony. No? Um, oh no it, it could be... Matanda like, na rin po siya, Doc. 77 years old. Hindi so. po matanda masyado. <laughs> Hindi. Of course, uh, that is a factor. No? Siyempre, pag yes. sinabi mo matanda, kidney and liver. And I think, uh, matagal na yan. Um, yes. Ang nangyari kasi first, niya... Pero first time lang na nag... Ganun po. Nag- so, tapos yung yung tang niya nag, uh, no, gumagalaw-galaw. Opo. Ano ba yung amplitude niya? Malalawak or po konti-konti pero mabilis? Mabilis po. Okay. So, that's very, very, you know, um, compromise talaga yung chi niya. So, definitely, of course, we have a phlegm there. Uh, sa totoo lang, no, for the benefit of everyone here, when you, uh, when you have seizures, dahil po yan sa ano um phlegm and um kasi ang phlegm kasi will really impair circulation and uh, it all starts out as uh, nagkaroon ng wind no lalo na pag uh, may deficiency uh, issues so how is the pulse ano po siya ma mabilis po Mm-mm. Medyo dumo- is it tumaas po yung dugo Al- niya yung, oh, okay. nung that moment po. Medyo ano mataas yun. Uh, ang una ko po talagang ano nung, kasi on the way home ako dahil mag, ano, kami galing ako ng Manila. Magboboto po sana kami. Mm-hmm. Inano ko talaga yung kidney one kaagad dok. Since so, uh, may feeling naman siya, may sensation, masakit daw. So sabi ko ganun, hindi yun is Sakit ang kidney one. Opo. Actually, ang dapat mong ginawa is, you know, to address the seizure. So, ang nangyari kasi sa kanya, maramayon ng wind. And um, that speaks a lot. So, ano nga, eh, liver and spleen disharmony. So, pero yun nga, later tayo nag-ano ng lecture natin. <laughs> Opo, Dok. Ano po kasi yung uh, fresh pa kasi yung nag-attend ako ng Yamamoto ni Dok. Uh, yeah, ga- the best ang Yamamoto. So, opo, inano ko yung yung parang yung diagnosis na yung press dito sa L. Ano po. Uh, and then sa head po. Mm-hmm. Yung kalahati kasi nun wala siyang feeling sa my cervical. The Tapos current. pagbaba sabi... Sa bandang baba, meron daw po siyang feeling. Pero hindi ko po siya tinutukan do kasi wala pa po siyang ano, hindi siya hindi pa po siya kumakain that morning po. Okay. So, hindi ko pa po siya inaano ng ang, ano, ninalagyan ng needle hanggang ngayon kasi medyo weak pa rin po siya. Hmm. Well, what about the ear? Uh, yun the po ang spot. hindi po. Hindi ko naiisip po kasi ang dami ko na pong ano yun. Oo nga, eh, mukhang stress ka nga masyado. Ano po kasi, Dok, uh, iba kasi yung ginigiit ng hospital na stroke siya. Eh talagang feeling ko hindi talaga stroke yun kasi... Actually, papunta ko yung stroke. Oh. Um, I think uh, ang gusto lang talaga ng hospital is... Ma- ma- ano, dapat kasi yan ino-observe ng... Ano eh, for the next two, three days. Kasi mayroon tayong tinatawag na progressive stroke. So, mm-hmm. yun nga lang, medyo, medyo, ano. Yung iba naman, I, I think yung hospital mo, I just wanted to make sure. Of course, mother mo yan, you wouldn't want that to happen. No? Mm, kasi ano po kasi, mag... sorry po, no. go ahead po. Mm-mm. Kasi mayroon tayong tinatawag, is it her first time? Opo. Mm-hmm. Meron kasi tayong yung mga TIA, transient ischemic attack. So, some would just ignore that. Pero merong iba, nagag, ano yan siya eh. And uh, the mere fact na gumagalaw-galaw yung ano, so talagang wind na wind, yung kanyang dila. No? Mm-hmm. So, wag tayo masyadong 
uh, ano, um, I think the hospital, in fairness naman sa hospital, they just wanted to make sure na hindi tayo magsisisi. Kasi may mga cases talaga, dahan, meron nga isa eh, like, um, wala naman siyang tumaas lang yung BP niya, pero dahan-dahan, within 24 hours, na stroke siya. Oh. Hindi na siya makasalita. So kung nasa hospital setting yan, then, kasi not everything, uh-huh. uh, ano, will, you know what I mean. And kaya yeah. nga, uh, we're studying itong tang, the pulse, kasi as long as gumagalaw yan, andun yung internal wind eh. Oo. Iba-iba ang severity niyan. Mm. And uh, the mere okay. presence of the phlegm is, um, of course, the age din. Yun. Um, alam ko na stress ka lalo, pero I would uh, suggest na be vigilant lang talaga. Oh, so I think yeah. there was an issue bakit siya na trigger. Una-una naman ang dapat kasi hindi na tayo masyado naglalabas. Mainit ba diyan sa Manila? Mainit po doon at saka yun kasi first time din niyang bumangon nang sobrang aga dahil magpupunta po sana kaming magbo-boat. Mm-hmm. Ayun po. Eh in observant, may follow up check up naman po. Eh actually nung mabait naman po yung doktor, ni-refer niya po kami sa ano sa Jose Reyes sa may DOH sa Tayuman kasi nandoon niya daw yung yung mag accept na mga neuro, neurologist. Mm-hmm. Kailangan talaga monitoring po. Opo, and then and... may follow up check up po sa November 8. Pero yung MRI, yung pila po kasi ng MRI sa February pa daw. So dito mo na magagamit yung ano mo, uh, talagang i-monitor mo talaga. So I think you Opo. need to go back sa ating ano, sa tongue. So the Opo. mere fact na gumagalaw siya, andun talaga yung internal wind. Opo daw. Okay? Sige po. So let's hope for the best. Uh, yes. Kailangan hindi ka ma-stress. Alam ko, you know, how it is to have a patient who happens to be your mother. Talaga. And you have to take care of yourself as well. Yes po. Eh, syempre, since mother po, parang na, ano po akong tusukan siya kasi nakikita kong nangihina siya. Baka manghina po na. Yun. Ay, sa tenga, ayaw mong tusukan. Um, yeah, ano ko po, i-gagawin ko po yun. <laughs> ang gusto ko nga po yung sa, ano, sa Yamamoto eh, kasi ang galing nung Yamamoto. Tal- talagang bumili ba ko kay Yamamoto po, Dok? Oo, magaling mag-lecture si ano? Uh, si Dok, opo. Okay. Isang karayon so, lang kasi na ano na. Ang Yamamoto kasi, more on ano na siya, uh, talagang palapit na siya sa Western talaga. Neuro, neuroanatomy na talaga. Neurology na talaga pinag-uusapan. So, sige. So, marunong na kayo mag-lecture ng Yamamoto. Puro, puro points lang naman yon di ba? Opo, puro points. Parang, ano po, uh, sa isang points lang nakukuha niyo, for example, yung sa limbs, na, nagagalaw yung neck at saka, ano sa, for example, yung cervical, nagagalaw talaga yung limb na tataas nung ano yung pinag, nung ako yung naka, ano na, nakatoka na, magtutusok. Yung tinusukan ko, eight years na daw niyang hindi nagagalaw yung dito sa may uh, shoulder niya, neck, cervical, and then tinaas niya yung kamay niya, dok. Nataas niya, amazed na amazed talaga ako. Tapos yung sa kamay niya, lumambot lahat. Ang so hindi yung nag-season, nag-attend kayo? Ay, hindi po, dok. Talagang uulit-ulitin ko yung dok kapag <laughs> magpagbibigil <laughs> ng lecture si dok. Oo, oh, oh. magaling ni Dr. Gab, no? Opo. Oh, very deep, very ano very patient din ko mag-lecture. Anyway, sabi nga niya, naman po kayo doc mag maano magagaling, very generous na bilib na bilib uh, po ako sa inyo lahat. Very generous kayo. Ay, wow, okay. Doc, okay. iba kasi yung mga legendary katulad ni Dr. Gavino. Kita mo naman, 'di ba? So, <laughs> we're blessed because they decided to become part of LAM. Eh, kasi na feel naman nila na we're very serious here. And uh, hindi tayo nag-tolerate ng shortcuts. No? So, yes. let's hope for the best. Let's pray for your mom. Thank you, Pudo. Thank you. Just Thank uh, you. stay calm and monitor mo lang talaga regularly. Okay. Any other questions? Sir Michael. 
Wala naman po, Doc, uh, inspirational lang din. Uh, regarding po sa creation ni God, siyempre kapag ang creation ni God na uh, nagkakaroon ng problema, mm. yun po yung ginagawa natin, tinatama natin yung mm. nagawa natin sa katawan through needling. Yun yung yeah. nagiging inspiration niya. Mm. Kasi yung nag-take po tayo ng mga pagkain, mga medicine na sa ibang part ng katawan natin na saktan po, mm-hmm. ay through mga blockages, blockages ng ganyan, mga stagnation, mm-hmm. yung need yung po for me is to help out yung yung naginawa ni ka na, na healing process sa loob ng katawan natin. Yes. And, mm-hmm. Yung po talaga sa akin. Kaya na-inspired po ako ito nito. Ah... Uh, Siyempre, marami rin po kung nakikita mga libro na uh, nakakatulong po sa akin para mag-move on. Po, Actually, doc. marami pang libro. Hindi ko nga mabasa-basa na it's a dab. Oo nga po. Hindi ko pa, <laughs> ano, sa, sabi ko, ang dami pa lang, ano, dapat pa malaman. Sa dami ear, po. you'll be amazed. Um, sige, let's do this. Uh, di ba naman maano lahat dyan eh. Kaya ang gusto ko lang is, we're very happy that... Um, Some people are beginning to, you know, to yes. serve na medyo. We're very serious in what we're doing. Yes, okay. po. And... May pull lang pa ako doon. May pull lang din. Yes. Thank you very much, Sir Michael. Any comment, Dr. Sam? Thank you po for attending. Oh, uh, Na-realize ko tonight, Doc, yung importance ng, ano, ng pericardium uh, meridian. Yes, yes, yes. Napakaganda. Ganda po. <laughs> yes. Alam niyo ba bakit tinawag yan na ano, Jue Yin? Terminal Yin na yan. Terminal Yin, yeah. So, and, um, di ba, pericardium and liver. So, liver. Uh, parang konti na lang talaga na iwan na Yin. And so, young na young siya. Mm. So, you need to really, I, I think this is very, kaya maraming liver cheese stagnation. Mm-hmm. So, keep yung dibdib mo. Connected talaga siya. And so what we should realize is um, probably we need to really go slow in whatever we're doing. And um, pag may, may edad na tayo, hindi na tayo dapat na stress uh, Basta sabi ko nga kangina, handle your stress with grace. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just kasi everybody naman has ano, issues eh. It uh, all depends on how you are able to handle the stress. How the way we handle stress will, well, well, well is very very critical. It can actually give you imbalances. So, pag yung imbalances po nag persist, yun. And also the tripal burner, yung sun jump. The sun yeah, jump. It actually connects the upper, middle, and lower. No, think of it as a a pot no? um tapos di ba sa ilalim ng pot we have the the fire and then the steam sa taas ng pot so pag walang walang steam na lumalabas wala nangyayari uh, wala kang fire di ba so yung iba wala nang fire nang lamig na so how can you expect kasi ang sanjo is supposed to be the conduit sa, sa ano yan eh doon nagko-connect lahat yan sa organs natin And uh, sometimes we get to okay, always include the sun jiao in your ano kasi uh, it is through the sun jiao na 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 na, na, na di disperse lahat yung ating mga source chi konektado talaga siya parang siya yung parang ano nga yan eh parang mga dre, yung mga irrig, parang irrigation the ba like it can reach to the you know the entire So kung merong problem, hindi balance yung three burners mo, magkakaroon talaga tayo ng issue. So I hope uh, everybody had fun tonight and uh, stay calm, uh, stay healthy. And for next week, we're going to take up the Ren Mai, the Du Mai. And I hope you enjoyed the way we, I know, we do this. And of course, we're going to tackle the EOVs, Extraordinary Vessels. And if there is still time, we have to really, really go into the pathways of the channels. Um, hindi lang yung puro primary pathway. Uh, kailangan nandun yung divergent channel. 
yung oh. senior oh. channel ano pa ba yung luo connecting channels all these things and of course the most salient points i would like to compress everything for the next uh, seven seven weeks so siguro next time we'll handle all the extraordinary vessels that would include also the ano but i will have enough time because you know why it is so important for us to know the pathways and all the points that are found in each channel. Hindi ba naman kailangan memorize yung lahat eh? It's just a matter of knowing what those points are for so that uh, we would know what to do. Okay? Anyway, that's what the module 4 is all about. Module 5 is more on treatment principles. So, it's basically uh, making use of all the past modules and so that uh, we can prepare ourselves for the clinics. No? So, salamat po. Alam ko puyat na yung iba. Ma'am Darlene, stay calm. Sir Michael, take care of your heart. Sino pa ba? Si... Thank you po, Doc. Yeah, si... Thank you, Doc. Miss Joy, I'm sure, whatever. Yeah, I heard a lot about... Alam mo naman mga marites, pero I know you can handle it with flair and... and uh, Thank you, Doc. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Doc. So, sino pa ba? Si Ma'am Angel, na napakatahimik, pero matinik. And of course, Ma'am Ami. Maraming sa... And of course, Ma'am Lee. Thank you, Doc. Yeah, thank you po. Pahinga lang po kayo. And... Good night. Good night po. Thank you, Good night, Doc. See you next Friday. Bye-bye po. Bye-bye po. Bye-bye po. Ingat, everyone. Bye-bye.